This video lecture we talk about yellow fever virus. Yellow fever is an acute viral hemorrhagic disease caused by yellow fever virus, a prototype of the genus Flavivirus of the family Flaviviridae. People first isolated the yellow fever viral from a rhesus monkey inoculated by serum samples from a patient of Ghana in 1927. Yellow fever is the first identified human virus. According to WHO report, there are an estimated 84,000 to 170,000 cases and up to 60,000 deaths due to yellow fever per year with about 90% of these cases occurs in Africa. Yellow fever virus is usually transmitted by infected mosquitoes and ticks. Humans are infected sporadically when bitten by sylvatic mosquitoes that previously fed on a viremic monkey, so-called jungle yellow fever, but may also serve as the viremic host for interhuman transmission, mainly by Aedes aegypti, a species that breeds in water-containing vessels inside dwellings or in close proximity to them, so-called urban yellow fever. Yellow fever virus probably originated in Central Africa spread subsequently to East and West Africa, and was introduced into the Americas with the slave trade between the 16th and 19th centuries. The first recorded outbreak of yellow fever was in Yucatan Peninsula, Mexico, 1648. A recent outbreak of the disease has been recorded in Angola that has started in December 2015 and 1975 suspected cases and 258 deaths have been reported so far. There are three types of transmission cycles, jungle transmission, intermediate transmission and urban transmission. First, we talk about the jungle transmission, in tropical rainforests, monkeys, which are the primary reservoir of yellow fever, are bitten by wild mosquitoes which pass the virus on to other monkeys. Occasionally humans working or traveling in the forest are bitten by infected mosquitoes and develop yellow fever. The second type is intermediate transmission, in this type of transmission, semi-domestic mosquitoes, those that breed both in the wild and around households, infect both monkeys and people. Increased contact between people and infected mosquitoes leads to increased transmission and many separate villages in an area can develop outbreaks at the same time. This is the most common type of outbreak in Africa. The last type is the urban transmission. Large epidemics occur when infected people introduce the virus into heavily populated areas with high mosquito density. The incubation period of yellow fever is 3 to 6 days. There are some signs and symptoms in patients. At the abrupt onset, the patient has fever, chills, headache, dizziness, myalgia, and backache followed by nausea, vomiting, and bradycardia. During this initial period, which lasts several days, the patient is viremic and a source of infection for mosquitoes. Most patients recover at this point. But in about 15% of cases, the disease progresses to a more severe form, with fever, jaundice, renal failure, and hemorrhagic manifestations. The vomitus may be black with altered blood. When the disease progresses to the severe stage hepatorenal failure, the mortality rate is high, 20% or higher, especially among young children and elderly adults. Yellow fever takes its name from the yellow color that appears on the skin and in the eyes of seriously infected people. This yellowing of the skin is called jaundice, and it is a sign of liver failure. Liver failure takes place when the liver is no longer functioning properly. The proper functioning of the liver is necessary for survival because the liver is responsible for maintaining and purifying the blood. Death occurs on day 7 to 10 of illness. Encephalitis is rare. On the other hand, the infection may be so mild as to go unrecognized. Regardless of severity, there are no sick lie. Patients either die or recover completely. Yellow fever virus is a positive sense. Single-stranded, RNA-enveloped flavivirus with a diameter of about 50 to 60 nm. 
The virus is transmitted via the saliva of an infected mosquito. Local replication of the virus takes place in the skin and regional lymph nodes. The virus gains entrance through receptor-mediated endocytosis. RNA synthesis occurs in the cytoplasm and protein synthesis takes place in the endoplasmic reticulum. Variants are released through the cell membrane. The viral envelope contains a lipid bilayer taken from the infected cell. Virulence factors include the following. Capsid protein C, facilitates viral binding, membrane protein M, a minor glycoprotein, E proteins, initiate infection and mediate viral entry, non-structural protein 1, NS1, may play a role in RNA replication, NS2A protein, involved in RNA replication and packaging, NS2B and NS3, form a complex and are involved in polyprotein processing and replication of RNA. NS5, has a major role in RNA replication. Yellow fever is difficult to diagnose, especially during the early stages. More severe disease can be confused with severe malaria, leptospirosis, viral hepatitis, especially fulminant forms, other hemorrhagic fevers, infection with other flaviviruses, for example dengue hemorrhagic fever, and poisoning. Blood tests RT-PCR, can sometimes detect the virus in the early stages of the disease. In later stages of the disease, testing to identify antibodies is needed. ELISA and PRNT. Virus antigen or nucleic acid can be identified in tissue specimens using immunohistochemistry, ELISA antigen capture, or PCR tests. The virus may be recovered from the blood the first four days after onset or from post-mortem tissue by intracerebral inoculation of mice or by use of cell lines. IgM antibodies appear during the first week of illness. The detection of IgM antibody by ELISA capture in a single sample provides a presumptive diagnosis, with confirmation by a fourfold or greater rise in titer of neutralizing antibody between acute phase and convalescent phase serum samples. Older serologic methods, such as HI, have largely been replaced by ELISA. Specific hemagglutination inhibiting antibodies appear first followed rapidly by antibodies to other flaviviruses. No specific treatments have been found to benefit patients with yellow fever. Whenever possible, yellow fever patients should be hospitalized for supportive care and close observation. Rest, fluids, and use of pain relievers and medication to reduce fever may relieve symptoms of aching and fever. Care should be taken to avoid certain medications, such as aspirin or other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, for example ibuprofen. Naproxen, which may increase the risk of bleeding. Yellow fever patients should be protected from further mosquito exposure, staying indoors and or under a mosquito net for up to five days after the onset of fever. This way, yellow fever virus in their bloodstream will be unavailable to uninfected mosquitoes, thus breaking the transmission cycle and reducing risk to the persons around them. Vaccination is the most important means of preventing yellow fever. Because yellow fever virus has only one single serotype, so it can be effectively prevent by vaccination. The yellow fever vaccine is safe and affordable, and a single dose provides lifelong protection against yellow fever disease. A booster dose of yellow fever vaccine is not needed. If vax, yellow fever vaccine will be unavailable from mid-2017 to mid-2018, due to delays in the production process. Sanofi Pasteur has worked with the FDA to make another yellow fever vaccine available in the U.S. through an expanded access investigational new drug application. Manufactured by Sanofi Pasteur in France, this vaccine Stmeral yellow fever vaccine is registered and distributed in over 70 countries. However, it is considered investigational in the U.S., as it is not a U.S. licensed product. Thank you.